took out a pirate. But all in all, in the end, we do mess. Now, I'm a mess, but I'm a mess. Pull it, pull it, cut it, I'm a little mess. There is a little bit of 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 an amazing person from Wales, so that even as you get older and you no longer look as pretty as you used to, there is just something about your energy that makes you just a person I want to be around. I'm sure you've been around some people who has an ahara with the word, hey, Karo ten sara out haru we are about out are the rubu sipa. And some of the some of those things are generational curses that we learn from our older people by the word don't know any better. Or when I get out I live in a world where I believe that I can create a change in ATI just by using my voice. And I spend a lot of time trying to research God was telling what it can make me stand in front of people and people think I have confidence, of which is natural and true, authentic confidence. But the difference is, it's not confidence based off of what I'm crushing another person or it's how I own. Any younger generation is usually more intelligent than the previous generation. I want to get out. But having me be me and be me being open and willing enough to understand that the dynamics of fame, with me, you are it told me something. Do I want to appear to people for something that I can look like? I mean, I can afford all the shoes that you guys would probably scream and say, oh, those shoes. But it's high time we have real people that can actually show you that to be a successful person doesn't necessarily mean the money that you have in your hand. A successful person is a person that can go into a desert and turn that place around. Don't let your emotions control you. And don't let the crush or somebody that promises you love to be the determining factor of you having the strength to move on. Because we live in a world where love is romanticized in such a way that without a partner or a lover, you cannot move on. Whenever I feel myself in that state, because that's how I even started drugs, because I wanted a lover so bad I couldn't find a lover, somebody that could love me for me. And I had to make that choice of me starting somewhere to love me the way that I would want another person to love me. Because if I can love myself, then I can place myself in the shoes of another person and understand that I'm hurting another person. You're not too young to understand what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm 